so good morning guys um welcome back to my channel and uh, today's video uh, i'm just going to show you how i normally do like once i wake up in the morning now it's 8 a.m in the morning 8 a.m in the morning now so i just wanted to show you exactly what happens uh, once i wake up so normally once i wake up i have to of course i have to come down to the kitchen and then have to i normally pass in the sitting room where i open the curtain and that's it by the way here like i mentioned it's 8 a.m and the kids are still sleeping now that school is closed so normally they wake up at around 10 a.m <laughs> Let them enjoy. It's a bit dark because it's early in the morning and also the light, ring light is not that fully on. So once I wake up, I open the curtain so that I can allow light inside the house. Then next is to make the sitting room look neat and cozy and uh, welcoming. When we go to sleep, we normally leave everything scattered. So once I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing to, to do. I always say my sitting room is small but it's very convenient with my family. There was nothing much to do in the sitting room. It's just to make everything look neat and uh, not scattered. I always keep my laptop there. I don't have a space to put my laptop to be my working desk, my working area, but I'll, I'll work on that. So guys, uh, now that is the look of my sitting room. I, I had cleaned it yesterday. So uh, once when I woke up, I just did a slight, like a, a mild cleaning because there was no much that. So that's how it looks. So this is where I'm planning to put uh, a mirror. Like I said in my earlier video, there was gallery there, but I changed there because the space was small. So I'm planning to put a uh, a big mirror there and then uh, on this side the other corner the other side I'll, pl I'll put a uh, artificial plant there on there just there I'll put a artificial plant this is now our entrance and that is the door to our entrance and then for the curtain um, I'm okay with that. I have put two colors. There is purple on that smaller side and then the orange one. That one you know because you have seen in another video. And then that's it. That now that is my, uh, my pathway. And then here it's my dining table. The side. There is nothing much there. There is nothing much. And then still my gallery is there and then that's the sitting room. We stand on this corner. And then that's the way to the kitchen. That's the way to the kitchen. So once I'm done with the sitting room, 
I go to the kitchen because uh, it's in the morning and I have to prepare breakfast for the family. So first thing I have to do is uh, remove the utensils from the um, utensils older because they have dried up. We, uh, before we sleep, we normally wash them and leave them there. So now they are dry, so I have to put up put them back where I normally put in the cupboard. And uh, there are some which were left in the sink. Of course, I have to wash them uh, before doing anything else. So once I'm done, I put on, uh, I start preparing tea. My tea preparation is very simple. Just put fresh water and then tea. And then sugar and then milk that's it I let it cook now here I have to warm this water so that I can prepare chapati If you have noticed, I'm not using tap water, the salty one, because we have enough water, like the one which is not salty, and I prefer to wash utensils with that, because uh, normally the salty water, it leaves some white marks. So since we have uh, enough uh, non-salty water, then why not wash utensils with that? So that is what I'm using now. So I have two basins, there is one for starting to wash and there is one for rinsing. So I'm done with washing my utensils. And now I need now to prepare chapatis. So the first process is uh, pour this flour, it's ajabu. Uh, flour on that basin and then add some sugar add uh, salt And then last, some cooking oil. Then mix together with your hand, your fingers. Just mix them together. And then add now your hot water. So that you can now make the dove so you can comment in the comment section if what you what ingredients do you normally use when you are preparing chapati here i've used sugar salt hot water and cooking oil so you can just comment below what you normally use you can comment in the comment section what you normally use and uh, what you don't use from what i've used just comment below so once you have added water now this is now the next process you knit until it makes something like this so once i'm done i have now to make a big duff so that i can create small ones Now that is the big one. So this uh, big dove has to make at least 10 uh, small ones, 10 chapatis. So once I've made the big one, I, I again spread some oil. And then cut into small sizes.
so again you can also comment in the comment section how do you normally cook your chapatis it's good to learn from different people you know we all have different ways of cooking so please comment in the comment section how do you normally cook your chapatis what do you use like what what ingredients do you use to make your chapatis so i have to remove some pieces from each dab so that i can make another another last dab, another last dab so as you can see how many are they they are 10. So my tea is ready. So I'll just let it stay in that sufuria as I cook my chapatis. I have a, another cooking pan but I prefer using this because it's easy to cook. So from this process, now this is how to make the, the big round, the round chapatis, depending on how big you want them to be. And then uh, my next process is to fry them before applying oil. So I have to fry them all the 10 chapatis before I go to the next process. So if you are from coastal region, coastal region, most people, they know how to cook chapatis. So if you are coming to Kenya and you want to eat nice food, it's good to, to visit a coastal region. There, everybody knows how to cook very very nice food like a food you'll never forget so i'm not i cannot reach how best the coastal people cook their chapatis but of course my chapatis are yummy so once all of them they are dried up i now start applying oil So per cook, I'm putting three chapatis. I'm cooking them at at uh, one round. So that's how I normally cook. I apply on one chapati and then turn it. So if you ask me, one of the easiest food to cook, I will say chapati. I normally spend little time cooking chapati and I like cooking chapatis. Although they are not that perfect, but I love cooking chapatis. So from what I've used, in the in this ingredients what do you feel i need to to be adding or i need to remove from what i've used and uh why is it will my chapatis look more smoother because in most times my chapatis are not that smooth so what should i what should i change from my cooking you can comment in the comment uh, section please tell me <laughs> yeah Now it's time to serve uh, my husband. So let's do this. So let's do this. Ignore my look. I just removed my hair and uh, I'm supposed to go to salon, but I've just washed it. It's, uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that Afro look. So ignore that. So I need to, to serve my husband. 
and then I will continue with everything. So normally that is now a simple look of my like daily breakfast. So today we I prepared chapati and then this is egg, this is tea and some water. So I'm going to take this to my husband, he's upstairs and then uh, I'll take my breakfast and then we continue with whatever is going to happen to this uh, video. So that's it, it's simple and it's going to be yummy. If you eat like this, like this is called, this is, is going, it's a heavy breakfast, chapati with beans. It can take you until, uh, you can skip even lunch. You don't need to take lunch. Like in most cases, once I take my breakfast, I wait for the dinner. Because this is enough, it's so heavy. To take this and then again you take another meal, like lunch, lunch meal. No, 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 it's so heavy. So, once I'm, I'm, I've taken this, I'm okay. I can skip until dinner time. So, you should try this. So, this is beans and there's a um, coconut uh, milk inside. So, it's very yummy. And my tea is just simple. It's just milk tea and water sugar nothing else simple so you can comment uh, in the comment uh, in the comment section which other meals you can take in the morning instead of taking breakfast uh, like uh, bread tea or something which other every every breakfast like every breakfast you can take uh, in the morning like breakfast which other meals apart from chapati beans which other meals which is heavy you can take in the morning please comment in the in the comment section i like to know i like to know So other heavy breakfast, like in my case, like today I've shown you chapati with beans. I normally take um, sweet potatoes with um, with of course with egg and um, some smokies or sausages. That is so heavy also. And also I can take also I can cook uh, potatoes with green uh, bananas. It's like a stew. And with some beef I mix all together that's another every breakfast maybe in future I'm going to shoot this and show you guys so those are some of the heavy breakfast I normally cook for my family so just comment in the comment section which other heavy breakfast meal you cook for your family I have taken two chapatis, but I can't finish two. I'm just going to take one. That's it. So guys, um, that's it uh, for my today's video. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, it is just that simple. Just wake up, uh, do something with the sitting room, go to the kitchen, cook for your family, and that's it. So from here, I will do some laundry, and then I'll call it a, a day. So thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, until my next one, stay blessed. Now. Nah,